Surely we're not supposed to just throw food at them. They should call this attraction, hit a bear with an apple. So it's our last day here in Tennessee, and it's the last time we'll be seeing uh, Bear Secrets Cabin. So goodbye, Bear Secrets Cabin. So today I guess we're gonna do some more adventuring. I think we first need to go get breakfast, and then we might check out some more souvenir shops in Gatlinburg. There's still some gifts we need to get for our kids. Ugh. And I'd like to check out Cade's Cove today if we've got time. So we might go check out Cade's Cove, which would be awesome. I hear a lot of good stuff about it. And then there's a big flea market shop somewhere here in Tennessee that my wife knows about that we're gonna hit before we start driving home. So that's the plan for now. We'll see if that changes later. Come along, folks. So we decided on Reagan's House of Pancakes this morning. We'll see how this goes. Should be a good breakfast. It's here in Pigeon Forge, so there's a lot of good breakfast here in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. You guys have a buffet? We did. We that is a awesome. Buffet or the menu. You're more than welcome. I'll take a chocolate milk. That breakfast was delicious. The buffet at Reagan's Pancake House is awesome. That's probably my favorite breakfast place here. But now we're going to do some souvenir shopping. We get to go to the shark's mouth to do it. Babe, got yourself a hoodie, got the girls some souvenirs. Okay, so Cade's Cove is a no-go today. Unfortunately, we just waited too late and with the traffic and there's some road closures, it would just take too long for us to get through it um, and get done by the time we needed to head back to good old Indiana. But we really just wanted to see some wildlife um, and we found a good alternative right here in Pigeon Forge. We're at the Three Bears General Store. According to the brochure, you can feed and see the black bears in here. So we're gonna go do that and maybe mine for some gems over this place next door. It does look like my gimbal thing. Ooh, all kinds of cool lights. <laughs> you can wipe your butt with Obama. They have all kinds of cool puppets. Two of us and a cup of food. All right, be seven seventy-five. Thank you a cup of bear food. Come here, have fun with them now. Thank you. Oh, them guys. Well, those are just windows down there. How do you feed them? Surely we're not supposed to just throw food at him. You think they want us to just throw the food out there at him? No. No? What are you supposed to do? How do you get close to him? Huh? Not feed him. Not feed him? Yeah, these people are just, of course, hitting the bear with the food. And they don't want it. I didn't know it was going to be like this. He's going to fall. He's not gonna fall. It's a bear. How does everybody know we ain't from here? We don't have country accents. That was a little sad. I didn't expect it to be like that. I didn't think it would be all that great, but I thought it'd be cool to see them and feed them. But no, that's that's not fun at all. So we're gonna go mine for gems. That's gotta be safe, right? That won't make us sad. So. Hey there, feller. This here's Pappy, and it must be your lucky day, because I have some words of wisdom just for you. Listen up now, you're a closed mouth gathers no foot. Let's do that one. All right. Look at all these gems and stuff. Very cool. Fool's gold. This is agate slices. So pretty. Good morning. How are you? It's a beautiful day. It is so pretty out there. Is this what my coupon's for? Yes. 
I like it. Look at that thing. And dinosaurs. Septarian dragon egg were formed during the Cretaceous period. Saber tooth cat skull. All right, that was a pretty cool little place. We didn't actually mine for some gems, but we want to bring the kids back to do the actual mining. It looked like it would be more fun for the kids. But we just checked out the gems. We got a little free gift with our coupon. Yeah, mm -hmm. video bomb. Yeah. Awesome. Let me just also point out that it is freaking beautiful. It's like 60 degrees. Yeah. You notice I take my jacket off. Not a cloud in the sky. It's a shame we have to leave, but we're gonna head back towards Indiana and stop at this big giant flea market about 15 miles out of Pigeon Forge. So let's go do that now. All right, so the GPS once again is taking us on a back road. But since it did so well on that one lane road back taking us into Gatlinburg from North Carolina, we decided to follow it again. And mainly it's doing this because it, it knows that there's a lot of traffic on Parkway and it's gonna take longer to in that traffic than it would taking this back way. And we enjoy the back way because we get beautiful views. All right, so we just seen this sign that says uh, Tailwater Overlook. I don't know what that means, but Overlook sounds beautiful. Overlook, powerhouse, Tailwater Area, Overlook Picnic Area. Let's go this way. Well, let's, let's see what happens when we go up higher. Yeah, this is amazing. Let me turn around. Oh yeah, we just stumbled upon a beautiful place. like the wife is thinking like me she found another spot that looks great for pictures out on this ledge here we got some uh, park benches along here so that they already know that it's a good spot good view from here babe mm -hmm. it's a good spot with a good view here as well. well this was just a great stop we found though and we had a blast here checking out the uh, beautiful scenery So we made it to the Great Smoky Mountain Flea Market. It is huge and there's a lot of people here. Kind of, kind of, kind of, tripod. Oh, awesome. But I use it for a selfie stick all the time. Look at that, is that a real <laughs> camera? Yep, a little GoPro camera. So the big flea market was awesome. We're done here though. The wife got a new bag, uh -huh. a real tree with black leather straps. It's sexy country. So this is a really cool place and they had great prices on stuff. I mean, I've seen sunglasses for three and four bucks and things like that. It's a really cool place. And when you compare the prices of this to Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge where they're gouging tourists, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. So we're done. This vacation's pretty much over. We're gonna drive home. We've got like a five and a half hour drive, something like that, mm -hmm. to get back home, only because 75 is closed. We're just gonna drive home and rest. Get back to work tomorrow, but I promise there'll be another vlog tomorrow. So we'll see you then, everybody. Peace! Doing all right, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Got a little busy, but I thought it was going to be so I'm not that good. Yeah.